do you want to aim like this? I lied, I lied. There's one heaven right now. I'm loving the comps. Oh, that, that just Ace! Ace! Ace. If you do Wait, stick around, I'm gonna show you how I fixed my aim and went from gold 3 to high peak immortal 3. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go here, and how you get here, you go to your search, and just search up mouse settings, and then click additional mouse options, click pointer options. Do not worry about the slow and fast uh, pointer bar here. Uh, if you've never been here, then this box will have the check mark, and all you want to do is uncheck it, click apply and, and OK. And basically what that does is turn off mouse acceleration and you don't want mouse acceleration on because in game when you're moving your mouse around it's uh, kind of like a car I would say and the more you move your mouse around uh, the faster your sense will just become it'll accelerate so that's why you need to turn it off so you can have a more consistent feel and uh, your sense will never change. Okay, the first thing I want to go over in the range that I learned from my aim session with 100 Thieves Dwyfo. If you guys don't know who that is, he's a pro. And he was the sixth man for 100 Thieves during the most recent VCT season. And the first concept he taught me was resetting. And the reason why you guys need to be resetting and what the concept is, is basically find anywhere where your hand is comfortable on the mouse pad. And after every target you shoot or you kill or a couple targets and kills you make sure to reset your hand back in the position and basically what this will do is you'll always be comfortable in your aiming pretty much and i wasn't doing this before and this was really hindering my aim because if i had to flick to the left or shoot targets over here and then let's say there's a guy coming on my right obviously you could see my hand is in a very uncomfortable position and so it just makes the shot harder to hit so once you start resetting after every kill and putting your, your mouse where you're comfortable it'll just make you hitting the target and the shot a lot easier because your hand's going to be in a comfortable position now the second thing he went over with me was the concept of visualization and pre-aiming and basically what that is is just uh, if, let's use this uh, target as an example and I'm behind the angle yeah. I want to try to imagine him holding the angle in my head so when I peek I could have proper crosshair placement and pre-aim so when I swing my crosshair is on his head already or if it's not on his head it'll be slightly away from his head so all I have to do is a little micro correction and the reason why this is important is it also just makes shots a lot easier to hit because if I'm swinging, I'm not pre-aiming and I'm not thinking about where they're going to be. My crosshair is going to be out in the middle of nowhere and I'm going to have to do a, a wider stroke so the shot's going to be a lot harder to hit. And the third thing he went over with me was bursting in this game. Bursting is really important when you're taking duels in this game because you need to be mobile. You don't want to be like a standing skill target because then the, it's just going to be easy for your opponent to hit, to hit you. And so basically the proper way to burst in this game is just two bullet bursting. So your recoil doesn't reset and you could stay pretty accurate. And you'll be mobile so you'll be a lot harder to hit. And I was bursting incorrectly before, I didn't even realize it, but he helped fix. Um, I was doing bursts in 3 to 4, so when I was bursting like this, 3 or 4 bursts, it would sometimes be inaccurate, and that would just cause me to miss. So, I'm going to show you guys my routine now, and usually when I go into the range, I'll just go in between the box, like this, making sure that my adjustments are on point. My crosshair placement is good, it's always head level. And then after uh, after I do that for about a minute or two, I'll just do medium. And I'll just play medium box until I'm able to get 30 out of 30.
Damn, I missed one this time, but usually I'll just do that until I'm able to get 30 out of 30. And then after I get 30 out of 30, I'll play Eliminate 100. And I'll do this usually like three or four times. And then afterwards, I'll just play a, I'll play a team deathmatch. And that's pretty much my whole entire routine. Okay, so now I'm going to show you all the aim routines that I've used in the past to improve my tracking, flicking, and micro adjustments. And the first one that I mainly use today is the one that Dwyfo gave me after our, our aim coaching session. And this one is one wall, six targets small. And this one is to help improve your flicks. And you just go from target to target. Try to go at a good pace. You don't want to go too slow because then you're just not challenging yourself. And in game you don't have like really that luxury to just go super slow. So you just want to go at a good pace to where you can at least get above 90% for accuracy. And the next one is just a tracking one. And you want to try to maintain a 65% uh, accuracy by the end when you track all the targets. And the one I'd recommend for like beginners if you're new to aim training is this one I got from the Voltaic aim group or not intermediate my bots, uh, the easy one. And this is just all pretty much like flicking scenarios and this other playlist I got from another pro uh, Sentinel Zekin. I was just in a stream one time and he has like a command where it says exclamation point routine. And this is uh, the task I guess he has in his playlist or what he uses to warm up. I'll put all the share codes for these three playlists that I use in the description for anybody else that uses Kovacs. And I'd say when aim training, you also have to figure out what individually is your problem. Like, my tracking was relatively good, but my flicking was bad. So, uh, I mainly focused on doing flicking scenarios and things like that. And the way to determine that is when you use whatever aim trainer, if you don't want to pay for Kovacs, a good alternative is Aim Lab. That one is free. And just do flicking scenarios and then do tracking ones and then see whichever one you're performing worse on and focus on doing that one. And then uh, if you guys do want a tracking playlist, I will also have the share code for this one. This one is really long. I'd say if you don't want to commit to a long one, do not do this one. But if you are taking it very serious and you feel like your tracking is act horrible, then just use this one. Hopefully you guys find this video useful. I wanted to make everything as clear cut and concise as possible. I didn't want to waste anybody's time. And if this information did help you guys and helps improve your aim, don't forget to like and subscribe. And also I stream on Twitch. The link to it will be in the description below if you want to see me play live.